This one's simple. GameStop moved all the way down to the mid 45 range today. I bought a bunch more. My buy average is now at 55, uh, right at the 88.6% level. That's very key for me. And my target remains the same. It's going to be around 109. And then from there, longer term, we're going to look for the 200 range. Uh, nothing to do. I know that these um, shorts are stuck in their position. All they can do now is hope to buy back more GameStop from the uh, these long Reddit guys who maybe they'll uh, get tired because they have their goldfish memories. They're very short-term thinkers, and they won't hold. Uh, but I'll hold. And if they can uh, get a bounce all the way back above here, perfect. And then look for that right there. When they do cover, it's going to be fast and furious more than likely. And it's probably going to come out of nowhere. So we'll see. I've been in positions like this many times before. And I have an 81.27% win rate. So I, the odds are in my favor. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, down to the mid-40 range, I bought a bunch of it. And I've averaged in. I still could buy more if I want. I don't know if I want to make more of a commitment to this. I probably am a little bit... Uh, over the size that I should be for this type of trade, but eh, I've had a good year. I'm not going to complain. I'll risk a little bit of the profits. Um, and that's what we're looking at. So this is our first target up here and our secondary target over here. And anything is possible with this one. So we'll say, <laughs> you know, I still have people who are telling me about numbers that go all the way up to the moon. And eh, I don't know about that, but I, I do know that the, the shorts in here institutional are going to have to cover and there it's going to be interesting um, other than that uh, I wanted to, to go over about my favorite pot stocks I've done very well on these and let's go to a daily chart you can see and it, the whole pot stock area has taken off and it's one of my favorite industries outside of Bitcoin and, and gold for growth because legalization is coming to the United States and it's pretty much coming all over the world. Who, who doesn't like pot? Pot is like the most, it's the best drug ever. It makes people happy <laughs> it's, or sleepy, happy and sleepy. What, what can go wrong with a drug? It has no really ill effects unless you smoke a ridiculous amount, I suppose. But no, it, there, it's just, it just benefits people. There's nothing bad about it. It's the happy drug. And it's, uh, it has no ill effects, so whatever. Um, here's True Libya. Uh, look at, you can see where it's gone from the 20s all the way up to the 60s now. Here's uh, Grow Generation Corp. Uh, this is a really well run company. I think they're going to do really awesome in their stock prices. Um, again, for the 20s over here, the breakout and the chart, awesome. And then you have Harvest Health, which is another one of my favorites. This one pulled back um, and gave a great buying opportunity. So now on a percentage basis, if it retraces, I'm looking for it to get back above the $8 range. Um, and then you got uh, Joshi Holdings. Joshi is like uh, just spectacular. This one just is New High City. Um, I wasn't expecting, but they are kind of popular. I know a few friends that um, like the um, were you know the the products and stuff that come out of this. Um, and then we have um, the Green Organic Dutchman, uh, which basically uh, this was a play recently. You know, I was talking about it when it was right around uh, 35, 34, and then you know, um, in the 20s and, and whatnot, but uh, it has spiked, you know, right after I talked about it, boom, what happened? Bam! There it goes. Well, it's because this one was extremely undervalued, in my opinion, and it has numbers that are going to go all the way back up to here, and uh, so we'll see. Oh, give me one second here. 
yeah, so numbers that go all the way back up to here. So if this goes back to the $2 range, that would be fantastic. Now I also want to show you that this is an all-time high right above 10, right? So if this retraces, uh, it could go much higher than even that. So we'll see. This could be an explosive move upwards. So that would be awesome if that occurred. Uh, I liked it better than the, the one that you were talking about, Tilray. Um, but look at the, the move Tilray had and so forth. Uh, that's another one that's like um, the Dutchman and so forth, the Green Dutchman. So it also has, look at that, look at that. It goes from, there. that's amazing from where its high was. That's just freaking wild. So the pot stocks are taking off, legalization's company coming and um, that's all there is to it. All right, now let's get back to the, the big guy of the day, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, remember when I said if it breaks the 46K and what does it do? It breaks the 46K area like on a rant. And now this turns into a buy. So everything, once this is broken, Boom, this is now turned into a buy. Statistically, this is flipped from being sell to buy. So now I have to look for a way to position myself back into it on any pullbacks. If we get any pullbacks to the low or mid uh, 30,000 range or even under 40,000 now, I'm going to be looking to get long and start buying, buying more and more. And what are we looking for from here? Very simple. If it follows the mean to this line right here, and it's it's broken and it's fractally statistically, now it's just a green monster. Uh, so we're looking for numbers going out throughout the year that goes all the way back to the 118,000 range, 118,900, the upper 118,000 range, simply put. Uh, that would be the logical target area going up forward from here. Um, so, hey, we'll see. Uh, just got to let it go. You know, my recent buys, I started buying back against my hedge, 10% here and 10% there. Um, down to 29 and then 31,500. So uh, I'll start to look for buys you know, going out into the future. Hopefully we'll get a pullback. I mean, just don't keep running like nuts like we are because this time of year is the Chinese New Year and selling statistically has occurred in this period of time miners take profits for whatever reasons or the, the uh, those holding in China take profits for you know for whatever reasons or buying for their parties or uh, as, I, who knows uh, but that's been a constant theme but this year no that didn't happen Elon Musk and all his friends and whoever else you know, anytime there was selling by the miners, they bought it and they kept buying. And I kept seeing that in the prices. And that's why I, I started rolling my positions back long. Because no matter how much they sold, these big buy orders would come through and just smoke them. Just smoke them. It was like getting, it was blowing my mind. It was like, holy shit, they're just buying. They don't even care about the price. They're just freaking coming in with big orders. And that's what's happened. Anyway, so that's my plan. You've seen it here, and uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, that 118,000 target up there, the upper 118,000 area, that's what I'm looking for. Going forward for the rest of the year, this has been broken. Uh, statistics flip, we're now green, looking long, and there you go. All right, that's the inner week update for you. I'll update you guys again when I see something. And other than that, have a great week.